doors were barred and all the windows fastened down. I spent the night in sleeplessness and rose with every sound. I had to hope for sorrow and have them fear the day. We'll find the soldiers parading through to drag us all. Sunrise, I heard something at the wall. The gate began to rattle, and a voice began to call. I hurried to the window, looked out into the street, expecting swords and torches, and the sound of soldiers. But there was no one there but Mary, so I went down to where her bed. There beside me as she told us where she'd been. She said they moved him in the night, and none of us knows where. Oh, the stone's been rolled away, and now his body isn't there. So we both went to the garden, then John ran on ahead. We found the stone, an empty tomb, just the way that Mary said. But the winding sheet they wrapped him in was just and how or where they're taking him was more than I could tell. Well, something strange had happened there, just what I did not know. John believed a miracle, but I just turned to go. Certain sense and speculation could live in because I'd see them crucify him. Inside the house of him, the guilt and anguish came. Everything I promised him just added to my shame. When at last it came to choices, I denied I knew his name. And even if he was alive, it could never be the same. But suddenly, the air was filled with a strange and sweet perfume. I was shy. 